The Project Trace NTIA Portal version 16 supports devices from Fimbo version 2.8, among others, S7 1500 controller. Here we show a Project Trace with two S7 1500 CPUs. We created a Project NTIA Portal version 16 and created several CPUs. Now we want to record the signals of the CPUs in a single trace. The Project Trace can be found in the Project Navigation under the folder Cross Device Functions. After I double click on the entry Add New Project Trace, a new Project Trace will be created. A new Project Trace configuration is created and the configuration is opened in the workspace. Then we define the participating devices for the Project Trace. For this, we select the devices in the column Device. We configure the device specific settings for the Project Trace in the Inspector Window Properties tab. After selecting a device, we then select the signals to be recorded in the Signals area. A maximum of 16 signals can be recorded in one CPU. Under Recording Conditions, Sampling, we enter the recording time, for example in which cycle, how fast and for how long the recording is made. We take 15 seconds here. The trigger defines the start condition with the occurrence of which the recording of the project trace begins. There are three options to choose from. First, record immediately means recording starts immediately after activation of the trace in the device. Second, trigger on tag means the recording takes place as soon as the trace is activated in the device and the trigger condition is fulfilled. And third, trigger from another device is only available for a project trace and means that the global trigger for the start of the trace is triggered by another device. With PSC1, we set the trigger to variable. In offline mode, the error symbol indicates that the trace configuration is incomplete or incorrect. We repeat the configuration steps for each participating device. We define the signals, the sampling interval and the recording time. With PSE2, we take the trigger from another device, in this case PSE1. Now we have configured the project trace and want to transfer the trace configurations to the devices. We click on the symbol Apply Trace Configuration to Devices in the function bar. An online connection to the devices is established. We can also establish an online connection by clicking on the corresponding symbol in the Trace Editor. The Diagram tab is opened and a display appears with the status overview of the devices. The status display shows the online connection of the devices, online, offline or disconnected, and whether the traces online and offline are identical or different. You can show or hide the display by clicking on the corresponding icon in the Editor. To start the recording, we click on the icon Activate Recording. If the recording is waiting for a trigger, the trigger conditions must first be fulfilled. The recording of the signals starts. In our case, the recording is performed for the set duration of 15 seconds. We can still stop the recording by clicking on the Deactivate Recording icon. If a recording is restarted, the previously recorded values are lost. To save the recorded values, we save the measurement and the project before reactivating the recording. This transfers the measurements from the devices to the project and we can export the saved measurement as a CSV file for further analysis. We can also see the traces online on the respective CPUs. Here we see online only the signals of the selected CPU. We cannot change the trace here or save it as a measurement we can only delete the trace from the device. We also have the possibility to delete the traces from the devices that can be reached online. To do this, we open the project trace and click on the button Delete Trace from Devices. The status display now shows differences between the configuration in TIA portal and the devices, since the traces are no longer available. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.